We're making a stop in Beaufort County in this week's People in Places. It's a spot people really dig as it's become a popular attraction over the last 40 years. But this museum needs your help to keep the doors open. If you've ever been to Aurora, it's likely you've spent time here. People love, love this museum. The Aurora Fossil Museum. It's kind of like a rite of passage for a lot of the local regional people. Um, it's, it's a unique uh, museum. But why fossils? According to the Smithsonian, Eastern North Carolina is one of the richest fossil locations in the world. The fossils were discovered as a byproduct of digging and mining for phosphate. Um, there's a rich phosphate layer under our feet, uh, so the neighboring phosphate mine would unearth these fossils. And some of the leftover dirt from the mine comes here. I think we are the only museum in the United States that has a museum directly associated with a fossil hunting area. So our visitors can come in, learn about the past, learn about the rich fossil history of the area, and then dig, interact with, with science, and dig for fossils that they get to keep and take home. Sometimes those take-home fossils are quite rare. Megalodon, too. How long did it take you to find it? Ooh, about an hour. Had to dig pretty deep. Uh, the big megalodon shark, which is our state fossil, the tooth is, you'll find these large teeth out of the phosphate mine. Some of them are up about six inches long. Um, of course, whales, dolphins, walrus, all these different sea life, even birds. Shane Sykes and his family are here from Jones County. Oh, we love it. We love it. Family comes here quite often and enjoy ourselves. Yes, sir. And every time you come, do you find something kind of like this? Something kind of like this. This is rare. I mean, you'll find teeth all the time, mostly small, but this is what makes it worth it. Worth it indeed. Unfortunately, time and Mother Nature have taken its toll on the museum. Hurricane Florence was kind of like the trigger that started more damage. The museum often calls on the public to dig in and help keep this piece of ENC history alive. A fundraising campaign brought in more than $20,000 to go towards repairs to the roof. We need to have support from our, the, the community and the people to help us remain doing what we do. We love doing it. And as a nonprofit, it's the museum's fans who make sure the facility's future is rock solid. And this Saturday is the perfect time to visit the Aurora Fossil Museum. They're hosting a pop-up event from 10 till 4 with a scavenger hunt, food truck, ice cream, and much more. And if you'd like to donate and help the museum, it is easy. There's a link in the story on our website at WNCT.com. I'm always on the hunt for great people and places to visit here in the East. If you have an idea for a story, send me an email or connect with me on Twitter or Facebook.